You notice fewer road crews working on some construction projects across the state. That's because all of that's because of a stalemate between the Michigan Infrastructure and Transportation Authority and a union. As Fox 47's Barrett Tryon reports, it's affecting some projects that haven't even started yet. Right now, we're just in a holding pander, pattern. We're not really sure what's going to be happening uh, with this, so we're just waiting to hear from the contractor when they could get going, and then we'll assess from there. In Jackson, an intersection project on hold. It's one of more than 100 projects across the state stuck in a dispute. That dispute is against the Operating Engineers 324 Union in Mida, which represents contractors. Another project you might notice fewer workers on is here on Interstate 94. But how soon work could begin again turns into a game of finger pointing. We share their frustration. We want to get these projects done. We, you know, worked all summer without a contract to get these projects done. Um, more than anything, we want them to understand that um, we didn't, this isn't us on strike or us walking up the jobs. We've been told not to come back by the contractors until further notice. The governor's office says they're now looking at other options, including legislation or court action. All of the talk about, you know, this being a defensive lockout, that's that's smoke and mirrors. The contractors here are simply trying to strong arm a union. We don't have anything we can do besides continue to show up and work, and we're not being allowed to do that. Back in Jackson, they'll wait to see what happens. We're now informing residents in the area because it's such a busy intersection that it'll still be open for the time being. I believe the city engineer department was notified about the delay earlier this week, and so we're just trying to get the word out that you can still drive through there. That was Barrett Tryon reporting. This afternoon, Mida issued a statement saying it has repeatedly reached out to the Operating Engineers Union, but the union has refused to even meet. The union says they don't want to talk to Mida and instead want to work with the contractors directly. MDOT did tell us today not all projects are affected by this, but they could not give us a specific list. We, of course, will keep you updated when workers go back on the job.